Next, number three, possessions. The alien child will not own what other children own. Or more precisely, the alien child will not own what other children own when they own it. Um, In our homes, we should be cultivating a sense of delayed gratification. Why? Because we are a people of delayed gratification. We await something better. This, to me, is probably the most potentially devastating element of what technology seems to be doing to our children's brains. They are losing their capacity to wait, and God help us as parents, we are often handing them the means to do it. When we raise children who do not know how to wait, we stand a very little chance of being able to help them become disciples who know how to wait for the Lord, who know how to be patient with others in their suffering or in their sin. This is a basic skill of being a Christ follower, and so we should look for ways to teach delayed gratification. I will tell you straight up, when I heard that Amazon was developing drones so that they could just drop my package on the front porch as soon as I thought I wanted something, I was like, I am in. And can we get the Girl Scouts hooked up with that? Because I want those cookies and I want them yesterday. And you think about that, and a big piece of this is obviously modeling. Like, one of the things I had to tell myself as a young mom, because I had to take all four kids to the store with me, which meant I could only buy, like, two things by the time everything was in the cart the way that it was supposed to be. And one of my favorite things was how people would stop me and say, are they all yours? (laughs) And it was all I could do to not say, who picks up extra toddlers to go to this? (laughs) Of course they're all mine. Don't you think if I had any other option, I'm like, hey kids, let's go to the store. Let's bring some friends along. (laughs) So sometimes my time in Target was a little frantic, right? You're just like randomly grabbing things as fast as you can, like get me out of here before something explodes, right? And, And what I began to realize was that I needed to stop. I needed to pick things up and look at them. And you know what I needed to do? Put them back. My children needed a visual way to learn that just because I might want it doesn't mean that I get it right then. So we thought about ways that we could show them, hey, we want this, and in many cases, we have the money for it. It's not a no, it's a not now. And that's a good concept for our children to understand. So that means that we will raise children who view possessions in a different light. They will value last year's possession and not always want this year's. They will understand the difference between more and less and enough. Enough is a concept that we are losing in our culture as well. We have parents who, uh, because of guilt of not being around the kids enough or whatever it is, they begin to sort of purchase their approval by giving them whatever they want, whenever they want it. Why? Because we think that we're going to satisfy the child. But studies show that when you give a child what they want exactly when they want it, that you don't create a child who is satisfied. You create a child who is insatiable, who is never satisfied. So we talk to our children about needs versus wants. And here's the thing. I'm not saying that you never give your child the nice thing. Like, you know how they'll come and they'll be like, I just really want this. And you're like, that is the dumbest thing in your head. You're like, that is such a dumb thing to want. But they really want it. Like it's a pair of tennis shoes that costs 450 bucks. And you're like, okay, at Target, I can buy you tennis shoes for $32. And so what do you do? you meet them halfway because they're going to learn a great lesson if they shell out the difference between what you're willing to pay and what the item costs. They will either gain enjoyment from the item that is equivalent to what they paid for it and they will learn a lesson about how to spend money that way or they will wear the brand new tennis shoes that are white in a giant mud puddle and realize that probably they weren't the best use of their money but they get to learn something about stewardship themselves. So you can partner with them and have them take some responsibility over their possessions by asking them to contribute once they have money in their little bank accounts. Um, Another thing for us that was kind of critical is we we delayed cell phone usage as long as we possibly could. And, And I know it's not as easy to do that as it was when my kids were coming up. But we uh, allowed them to have a cell phone in the eighth grade. We bought them one of those Go phones, and they had to pay for it. It was awesome. So they would get 
sucked into someone's group text and they're getting charged 15 cents every time some kid sends a text and they were dying. They were horrified. And what it did is it taught them to use the phone for needful communication only. Because P.S., that's what phones are for. (laughs) And then later, when they hit high school, we did give them a smartphone before they left for college. You know why? Because I don't want you going to college and getting a smartphone for the first time when you're not living under my roof. So we gave them opportunities as they were appropriate. My kids would say, well, I need a phone. How am I going to call you if I'm in trouble? And I'm like, every single one of your friends has a phone. I am not worried that you can reach me if you need to. And another thing that I saw a lot of that I was even aware of in myself was that once my child had a phone, I was more likely to say yes to a situation I was not that comfortable with under the assumption, well, they can just call me if anything goes wrong. So the phone can give us a false sense of security. So we weigh possessions differently than other people do. We may say yes, we may say no, we may say not now. We may ask them to partner when they're able in the, in the expense. But we don't always have to have the newest thing and we don't have to have a ton of it. 